Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another vlog because I really enjoyed doing it in Spain and today is actually going to be really interesting. I'm going to try cryotherapy with my friend Robbie. Um, he owns a gym and so he has like a partnership with them so I think it'll be really fun to try. If you're not familiar, cryotherapy is basically you get into this like chamber of liquid nitrogen and it like blows cold water on you for three minutes, um, cold air, cold air on you for three minutes. And it's basically like the effects of getting into an ice bath, but it, he was explaining it to me as like all the red blood cells rush to your core to kind of keep you warm, like in a state of hypothermia. Then when you get out, they come back out to your muscles and it's kind of like rejuvenating new red blood cells, helps with soreness, recovery, etc. So I think it'll be fun to try. I'm really excited and I'm going to take you guys with me. So see you there. I hope they don't care. I'll ask no, her. She doesn't. They, they love all this stuff. Where We're are we? Blast <laughs> in Mason, Ohio. And Sydney's getting ready to do her first cryotherapy treatment. Tech boots on. Um, I will check in. You can buy these. Oh, really? They're like two grand. Yeah, they're probably um, super expensive. Hello, friends. I'm with my little brother. Say hi, Jake. Oh. oh, okay. Well, we're at Jungle Gyms and it's super exciting. We're gonna go in here and get some groceries. Yeah! Cool, it's huge. This is essentially. The King's Island of Russia. What is it? The Wait. King's Island of Mercury. I agree. This is crazy. Look at this brioche loaf with chocolate chips. Jeez, I wish it didn't have, I wish food these days didn't have so many fake flavors. I just, I just don't understand. So many fake things, just give me the bread. Literally what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke. Some good stuff. Hey guys, so I just got back from my day of cryotherapy and I went to Jungle Gyms and it was super cool. I was like, wow, this is really awesome. I need to go here more often. Next, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my Trader Joe's haul. So here we go. First, I just got a lot of essentials. I got bananas, two avocados, lemons for my water, tomatoes, frozen blueberries for smoothies. This was awesome, frozen, um, it's not frozen. It's chicken thigh and chicken breast but it was only $4, like four and seven dollars. I don't remember, but I think that this is as cheap, if not cheaper than the natural section of Kroger. And so I was like, wow. And it's cage free, range free, all that like Amish farms. And I was like, that is great. Cause I really try to get as natural of meats as I can. Um, if I try to do organic, anything it's definitely always meat. And you see, I have organic Bananas, there's like a lot of studies you can read about which fruits you should actually get that are organic, but generally I just try to get fruits that look, that not necessarily or are organic, but look to be smaller because then I know that they're probably not injected with a ton of hormones. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely do some research on hormone injections and GMO and all that stuff because it's really scary, the agricultural market that we have in the U.S. So to continue, I have strawberries, grapes blackberries, raspberries, cashew milk. I love this. You guys know I drink this all the time. I got these fruit 
It's like crispy fruit, it's dried fruit, and the only ingredient is pineapple. I was like, what? Thank you, God. I didn't even read anything else, but as soon as I saw that it only had pineapples in it, I was like, yes! So next I have this stir fry, it's broccoli, snap peas, and carrots. I got these uh, sweet potato chips because I'd never seen them before. I've been eating these all the time, like raw vegan desserts. I'm really trying to not eat. I'm not saying, I hate saying like always or never or don't do this, etc. types of things, but I'm really trying to stay away from a lot of added sugar, such as things that don't come from natural stuff like fruit. Um, just because I'm really trying to detox myself from Spain because I went crazy. But these raw vegan desserts coconut date rolls are amazing. I really like them. And once again, the only ingredients, organic dates and organic coconut. Like, that's crazy. And they're really, really great. And then the fun stuff. Oh, wait, before that, I got garlic, pepper, because I need some pepper. Spice free is what you, or salt free, geez, is what you usually want to look for extra virgin olive oil, um, cold pressed, yes, is what I generally get. I cook with this a lot. Um, I try like mix up between this and coconut oil, but I usually have been using olive oil. And I got balsamic vinegar, as you guys might have seen on my Instagram story or something. I put up a salad that had balsamic vinaigrette, and I was frustrated because I thought it was balsamic vinegar. But so I got this. I'm excited. And then... Oh, down here I got some ricotta cheese. You can't see that. I got some ricotta cheese. I just realized I could have gotten not whole milk, but whatever. It only has milk, skim milk. I don't know if you guys can see that. It only has skim milk. Um, pretty good ingredients, so it's probably okay. Not bad. And then I got this super fun stuff. I needed more peanut butter. And they had so many peanut butter options, like a whole aisle of it. But I got this PB Crave. I've never heard of it. Um, I've really been trying to get peanut butter that's just nuts. But that's really hard because they're always so oily. And I just don't really like that taste. So this had enough that I was like, first of all, this is amazing. It's peanut butter with organic. Peanut butter with organic honey, chocolate chips, cookie dough flavor. I was like, what? So I'm hoping this is as good as it tastes. And as you can see over here, the ingredients are peanuts, milk chocolate, a little bit of soy, organic honey, sustainable palm oil. I generally don't like to eat palm oil, but I mean, I love peanut butter. You just have to make exceptions sometimes and salt, natural flavor, etc. And then I have seen this on so many Instagram stories and I was like, oh my gosh, I started freaking out edible cookie dough. OMG. This is the chocolate chip kind. You could get huge tubs like this, but I was like, no, I cannot do that to myself. So I just got a small one, but I'm so pumped to try this. This once again, doesn't have too many crazy ingredients. I just try to look and see if I can read it. And then usually if there's something I can't read, I go home and look it up and try to really understand what I'm eating. Cause the more you go through the foods that are in the grocery store, it's scary how much is not real food. Like it's crazy. But once again, yeah, you can see this is all pretty good. So as always, be on the lookout this week for my Instagram story, my Snapchat, Instagram, etc. For what I'm cooking, there's probably not going to be much new stuff this week. But I did have chicken thighs, and that's different than my normal chicken breast. So you guys can keep a lookout for that. The cryo was really cool. I was nervous. There's levels one, two, and three, and the level that I was in was like negative 190 degrees in that Fahrenheit, and I was like, oh my gosh, it was really cold. But I don't really know how much I buy into it because your body reoxygenates blood, creates new red blood cells every 60 days already. So it's like you don't really need it. But I thought it was cool. The last 30 seconds or so, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot. They give you like socks and these boots and gloves and a robe and stuff. But you take the robe off when you get in there. But it was crazy. I don't know if I'll be back, but it was definitely an experience. And I would suggest people to try it. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye.